Great Wednesday morning, December 2nd, 2020. To God be the glory for yet another opportunity to praise his name. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, forever and ever perpetual praise, he is worthy of each moment of our worship. I don't know if you went to sleep last night heavy with something on your heart, troubling you, distressing you. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. That's his promise. We might not have all of what we have prayed for yet, but God promises to sustain us, to be with us, to strengthen us in the midst of that trial. There are a few verses in the Bible where it says, glorify ye in, in the midst of the fires. The Lord promises to be with you. Remember Daniel, right? He was surrounded by the flames, but not one burn, not one scorching was evident on him. And God protects us from the floods and the flames. And he'll do the same this very day. We are going through some deep, deep tribulations. But in Revelations chapter 7, the last verse, 17, it says that the lamb which is in the midst of the throne, in the middle of the throne, remember you had the four and 20 elders and you had the creatures and the angels. And it says that also that there was a number of, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues in verse nine stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, a great multitude where no one could number. So God is in that situation with you. Know that he will, he will lead you. He will guide you. And he will lead us, it says in verse 17, unto living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Like I said, we might be going through some heavy situations, but God is with us in the midst of that trouble. So be not dismayed. God will take care of you. And because today is the second day of December, we would have gone to Psalms 2. In Psalms 32 and good morning. good morning, 52 and 82 and 112. Morning. And Psalms 52 says, Lo, this is the man that made not God his strength when they did the opposite, but trusted in the abundance of their resources and re riches and something else man made. And strengthen himself in his wickedness. Mm -mm. We're not having our confidence in man-made stuff. But no, we will align ourselves like the olive tree that trusteth in the mercy of God forever and ever and ever and ever. So even though we might see evergreen trees, we might see Christmas trees around here decorated, we're like the olive tree. So every time we see that, we are to be reminded that we're trusting in God. He is right there. He is firming us up. He is preparing us for perpetual worship eternally with him. And even right now, I will praise thee forever and ever because thou has done it. He has done it. His promises have been made manifest. And I will wait on thy name for it is good before thy saints. I tell you, life can be hard. But guess what? His promises are firm. So which one are you going to trust in? The hard places or the firm promises of God hold to his unchanging hand let's see Psalms 112 would have given us more to worship the Lord praise you Lord blessed is the man that feared the Lord that delighted greatly in his commandments mm. and again hardness he shall not be afraid of evil and his heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established, and he shall not be afraid of what happens around him, the circumference, the diameter, his surroundings. No. Nope. So in the meantime, we are to disperse to the poor, and his our righteousness will endure forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. Let's do good works. Let's bless others in the midst of our tests. Let's 
let's show the testimony of the Lord. Not so much say it and preach it. Anybody can talk a good talk, but to walk it, yeah, and to exhibit and model it. We don't have to even broadcast, like, yeah, we're doing this. It will be evident. Mm -hmm. And we will have this testimony. Psalms 142.5, Thou art my refuge and my portion in this land today. Have a wonderful Wednesday in the Lord, knowing that he is your portion. He is worthy to be praised every moment. And he will open doors and he will wipe away those tears and give you everlasting springs of water.